Welcome to The View, the senior view. And today we are so fortunate to have a representative from Bay Path Elder Care Service from Marlboro. And um, her name is Karen Carr, and she is the informational intake and referral worker. And she's going to bring us some very valuable information that I think that is important for all seniors in town to listen to and to know that you're not alone, that there are resources out there to help. Of course, through Joyce Rahm and Marlene Troops, our outreach workers, they do talk with Karen, I'm sure, Absolutely. several times a week mm -hmm. and Bay Path mm -hmm. Elder Care Services. And we are so fortunate to live in an area and live in a state where all this help is available. You are not alone, okay? So, I know you know Joyce Rahm, and this is Karen. And welcome, Karen. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's a joy to have you. Believe you me. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, I've been going over some of the programs that you have, and the one that really, um, you know, I really would like to know more about is called Options Counseling. That's new, new isn't it? Yes, it's fairly new with the last couple of years. We have an options counselor who is available to talk with consumers or it could be a caregiver or a loved one that wants to know what are the options for help or living arrangements or just finding resources for my loved one. It can be uh, for someone who is over 60 or someone who is younger with a disability as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And the options counselor will speak to the person on the phone, the caller, and then will either meet them in person, they can meet them at their home or at a coffee shop, or they can come to the office as well, and they will let them know what is available. They will, she will make a plan, sort of, if that's what they want. They Good. will sort of just Good. jot some notes and just say, this is some follow-up to do. She may have to do some research herself. She knows a lot about a lot of different programs, but sometimes new questions come up, and she will do conduct the research and then get back to the person. She provides a wealth of information. She will also follow up either in a couple of weeks or a month after the initial visit to see how things are going and were their needs met and could she help any further. There's no cost for options counseling either. It's funded by state and federal funding and so there is no cost to the individual receiving the options counseling. It is short-term help. Mm -hmm. It's so. You're advising. You're, mm -hmm. you're advising. seeing what the condition is and what needs need to be met, and that's wonderful. It helps people go get pointed into a direction. You know, they come up with what they think their needs are and what they want to find out, and she may help them find a direction and mm -hmm. what what are the next steps to take. And then with that, usually other steps come up, mm -hmm. which which mm -hmm. you know, she's happy to work with them about that. So you can help them with referrals to the right source. Yes. That's wonderful, you know, because life all of a sudden mm. just happens. Yeah. And there's changes that come very mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes somebody is suddenly alone. The children live far away and they're, you know, and, you know, if it's something that's sudden that happened with your spouse or whatever. And, you know, all of a sudden, wow, I'm alone, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. thankfully with you and, um, you know, a person isn't alone, that's for sure. And I'm that's glad you sure. mentioned, you know, the caregiver living <coughs> far away because they can work with a caregiver who may live in California and that's just right. wants to know what, how can they help and they can do an internet search and find out what resources are available, but sometimes it's really good to sit down or talk to them on the phone to mm -hmm. just find out what is available. And then the caregiver may discuss that with their loved one and then find a, a direction Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I Wonderful. actually just spoke with the options counselor at Bay Path because I had a, a call come in for a resident in town that I actually started the process of doing some investigation for in-home mental health counseling and then I found out that the person was under 60 so I wasn't as familiar with those references and um, resources I guess I want to say. So then I ended up calling Bay Path, talking with the representative and we collaborated and, and, and had a good plan going and it was it's a, it's a great program. So I'm glad you have it. It is, and they also yeah. work with someone who's in, say, a skilled nursing facility mm -hmm. and may still have their home ready there, but don't know, what do I need when I go home? My needs have changed. Mm -hmm. I'm no mm -hmm. longer able to uh, 
do some of the things I could do myself. Mm -hmm. So the options counselor will work with them to sort of get an idea of what will they need and what's available, how can they fill those needs. And that would include Bay Path services to get mm -hmm. th those in place and other you know, private pay resources that are available too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. I like, yeah. that. I like that. I like that. I like that. With our Good wonderful program. outreach workers, and you know, it, that's wonderful. That's for sure. That's for sure. What other programs? I know there's so many programs that Bay Path, you know, offers. Now you you cover 14 towns. Still? We cover 14 towns of Metro West, and every town in Massachusetts is under an elder care agency such as Bay Path. We're called an ASAP, an agent area um, agency service access point, mm -hmm. aging services access point. So we, if you live in Upton, say, and you're watching the show, there is an agency for Upton, you could call Bay Path and we could give you mm -hmm. the correct agency. So every town has an agency set, like Bay Path. And we do cover all those towns. We, uh, we take information when people call, if they call us, and we can help so when I think of options counseling, I might also think of the caregiver program because sometimes what they do overlaps. The, mm -hmm. the caregiver specialist will help a caregiver sort of make decisions and find resources as well. <coughs> and sometimes the options counselor and the caregiver specialist work together as well. And you may meet, have, meet with the family together mm -hmm. to, to just really get a broad idea of what, what's available to them. Mm -hmm. And there's no charge for the caregiver specialist either to work with an individual, and it's a short-term support. We, um, anyone can call Bay Path and get information, any age, for any age, for under 60, over 60, and our information and referral specialists will take the call, see what their questions are, and provide information. May have to do a little research to get the information that's needed, mm -hmm. and they will make referrals within Bay Path or outside of Bay Path. We may refer to the senior centers and just say, mm -hmm. you know, have you talked to Joyce at mm -hmm. Hoppington Senior Center? We, we may call the senior center ourselves and say, you know, how can we meet this need? Mm -hmm. I know this was a, a really hard winter and a lot mm. of people needed some help with Fuel. Snow and right. fuel and roofs and, right. and roof breaking. You and must have been so busy we doing applications for heat. We were and looking at our files for s individuals oh. that would shovel and s yes. snow blowing for the seniors. Right. And yes. Yeah, yes. we got a lot of calls. But you know, calls. it's a very kind, generous community, really Hopkinton. Is. Really is. You know, I, I know people who will say, you know, I'm sure when I was working, we had people that would just go and do right. it almost really for nothing mm -hmm. and not worry about the money. Mm -hmm and just wanted to help the senior. Mm -hmm. We are so fortunate to have that. Yeah, I'm sure you have the resources, that's for sure. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, another valuable source that I feel is money management. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good Absolutely program. right, Karen. Um, you, know, um, you know, sometimes it, you just want the support of having somebody to come in and do your bills for you. And how does that work, and how does a person qualify for that? Oh, we have a money management director, and she has volunteers, and and she also has a, a person who will go out and, and meet them to see what the needs are and just make a match for a volunteer. There are some income guidelines, but it, it's good to call because, it, you know, we can go over the income guidelines. If a person does not qualify, there are, is a list of sort of private money managers who might be able to help. But th they really want to get the referral so they can talk to the person themselves and say, maybe, you know, to understand the situation because it could be the higher income but a lot higher expenses as well. As well. Mm -hmm. So they will work with the information. We have consumers under money management who are not Bay Path clients, they're just receiving the money management. Mm -hmm. And they may be very independent with a lot of areas of their life, but they may just need someone to help with that record keeping or writing the checks, balancing the checkbook, making a budget, filing, there's a whole, mm -hmm. every individual is different. One big area is our money managers work with those individuals may have low vision, that mm -hmm. it's really difficult yes. to see or the memory, small little, little numbers. Memory lapse. Say, or memory loss. Or True. not Probably. able to write a check. Yeah. Or, now, like if some people yeah. pay their bills online, would they do that? 
I, I don't, not exactly sure if they do do that. I think they would work with whatever the person is doing currently mm -hmm. and, okay. and, mm -hmm. and go from there. They would go to the person's house mostly. And so I imagine they would keep that system if that mm -hmm. was working. And what a wonderful relationship. That oh, that's it is. Yes. You know, and to know that it's somebody that you can trust. Right. Because that's Bay Path, I'm sure, is right. very strict on yes. who they select. Oh, yes. so they, they, they do. Um, wow. Yeah. They have wonderful volunteers who mm -hmm. are either still working in banking or accounting, mm -hmm. attorneys, any, any walk of life, and they are, or some are retired and they volunteer. They have so many clients that they might work with each month. And it's a wonderful program, and I think that the volunteers really let them know what else is available too. Mm -hmm. So as they're very independent, but you know they may say that well, all of a sudden you need transportation. <coughs> Let's see what we can do. So they we talk back to the director and get the information they need about Bay Path, about oh. other. Help. Excuse me, didn't want to interrupt sure. Karen, but I know those relationships can stay for years yes. and years yes. and years, True. and that's really a great connection mm -hmm. with, this, with the uh, it individuals. Is. It is, and, uh, and that helps with the security of the person, right? Mm -hmm. of, Trust, you know, the thinking yeah. process, and, yeah. and to know that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. what other new programs do you have? Well, we have, um, we have. Care transitions is, it's really referred by a hospital and a person would have certain medical conditions and the goal is to reduce rehospitalization. back, you know, people are going to go home, get discharged, we want to help them so that they, they don't end up going back into the hospital mm -hmm. without the needed, you know, like some, someone would come out and look at their medications and just make sure they have them all straight and it's really confusing. You go in and you have six medications and you may be discharged with 14 mm -hmm. and, you know, some of them are the same and some of them are different. So that's a new program that's that's growing. We have under Mass Health, we have an adult family care now where a caregiver can be living <coughs> with the consumer mm -hmm. and the person would have to be on Mass Health, which is Medicaid, low income insurance in other states, and the caregiver is paid for providing the care. We have a healthy living program, and it's under our nutrition program. So along with Meals on Wheels, we have a healthy living department, and they will go out to the different senior centers and to different areas to run groups. So it might be a group on balance how to reduce falls. It might be a group on managing diabetes or mm -hmm. living with chronic pain. These programs really help individuals manage what's going on in their lives and educate them too about preventive medicine mm -hmm. and just staying healthy. And, and just let me sure. say this, if I may, Marlene and I are actually running a chronic disease self-management uh, program. I think it's April 29th, so please look at the Hilltopper for the dates. I hope I have that right. Mm -hmm. But we're starting, because Marlene and I were recently trained in that, so we're going to start our first program at the Hopkinson Senior Center, the Chronic Disease Self-Management. So we welcome any questions that people have um, to call either Marlene or myself, and we could make sure we fill in some blanks. If, if people are wondering, six-week class, two and a half hours, will be a lot of fun and a lot to be learned if you have a chronic Wonderful. health condition. So mm -hmm. that's up and coming. I, I suppose you all learn from when you run the classes, too. You oh, learn absolutely. things every time. Always, absolutely. Always. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. A lot of the senior centers have these great programs. Mm -hmm. and Yes. And with our healthy living, they go outside the Bay Path area to the, some uh, extended towns that that they, um, they go to as well. Um, we work with the Metro West Center for Independent Living in Framingham mm -hmm. um, for the younger population that may need some support. We have a partnership with them. We refer to each other for their services and they refer to us for ours. There's also the Center for Independent Living in Worcester as well for some of our towns. So there's a good partnership there. A person will make a phone call and it's they don't have to hang up and call somewhere else. We can make the connection for them. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just amazing, absolutely, that all of this is available. Yeah. My yeah. word. Now, what about um, 
like getting a homemaker every week or mm -hmm. once a month or whatever. Um, what are the qualifications for that, you know, if somebody needed somebody? Well, on a basic home care program, the qualification is over 60. We have some programs that where we can help consumers under 60 as well. But for home care, the age is over 60 or can be under 60 with a diagnosis of Alzheimer's um, documented by a medical doctor. And then there is income guidelines that we, there will be a cost depending upon the person's income. So there's a sliding scale and we can let them know how much the cost will be once we have their income for some home care services. And then there is need. They have to have certain areas of need in their daily living. We really don't just provide cleaning mostly, you know, if there's a caregiver involved helping with everything, mm. we may just provide the cleaning, but usually we have to meet some other areas of need, such as food shopping or meal preparation or help with a shower or bathing. So it has to be at least three things, it sounds like, they have three to or four. They have to have six areas of need. Six, but okay. But we, um, we don't have to meet all those needs as long as someone else is helping. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's an unmet need, that's what we want to try to help. And to look into Baypath, just call the main number at Baypath and ask for information and referral. And we will so ask some questions over the phone, get some basic information, and then they'll get a call to set up an appointment if that's what they, they want. Or sometimes people just want one step further. They want the information. They want to know what's available, mm -hmm. when they need it. They may not need it right now, but in the future, mm -hmm. so that we can do that too as well on the phone. If they decide, yes, I'd like you to come out and see me, we will be happy to schedule the appointment. Mm -hmm. And we would have an intake assessor would go out and and see what's happening. Yeah, see what, yeah we, we see the person mm -hmm. in their home and you know, what, what are the areas you need some help with. And basically we can give most people approximately three hours a week of help. So they pick from a menu of the services, maybe Meals on Wheels. We have emergency buttons like the Lifeline. If they were to have a fall, they could push the button. We have homemaking services. We have Companion if a caregiver is providing most of the needs, but would like, say, a three-hour block where someone comes in and spends some time, that's another service. We also work with adult day health programs where a social setting can be used so once a week or twice a week they can go and be among other people and mm -hmm. have activities going on. We um, Medicine management, we have a little bit of help with that. We now have a bubble pack system from some of the pharmacies where they can have that delivered and that the cost can be in there mm -hmm. with their other services. And then there's medication dispensers and that works for a lot of people really well mm -hmm. that the medicines are in a compartment mm -hmm. and only the pills come down that are needed to be taken at that time and it really just streamlines. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Isn't that great? That's a great system. Is yeah. it really? Because it, it can be so complicated when you're Very taking, much so, yeah. You know, over some people take a dozen pills a exactly, day. Exactly, I mean, exactly. You know, really. and multiple times a day, yes. right? Morning, yes. afternoon, evening. Yes. In this way, yeah. you know, there's no question, did I take them? That's right. Mm -hmm. If the cup is empty, you've taken you've your... You've taken the right? pills, right. And <laughs> if that alarm goes off, doesn't that's it? To right. kind of alert us all, you better take Ring your Ring the bell. That's right, take your medication. And, um, oh. The machine will notify them that it's time to take the medicines and gives them one or two, two or three warnings. And then if the pills aren't accessed, then they have an emergency contact to call just to say, you know, please check that it doesn't look like the pills were where the button was pushed to mm -hmm. get the pills. So mm -hmm. the caregiver would know. And it helps with people with just a little bit of confusion. Mm -hmm. it, it really oh, yes. is, yes. is helpful. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, because some yeah. medication can be taken with food and others right. can be. And right. morning pills, mm -hmm. afternoon pills, evening pills. Yeah. And you know, it can get very complicated, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's for sure. And to fill the pill boxes is yeah. difficult it too. Is. It yes. is. Yes. Yeah. With the small, uh, fine yes. pills and the coordination and mm -hmm. the visual changes mm -hmm. that might occur as we age, it is, it is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, also, what I see here too, caregiver respite relief. Now, yes, so that's um, a program that a person would either be eligible for home care, the home care program, or respite. And um, people in the respite program are a higher income 
and they have to have a caregiver providing most of their care so we're relieving the caregiver a person can't have both the respite and home care it's not it can't be say like all three hours under home care for mm -hmm. the for the person themselves and then three hours for the caregiver it's one or the other but it's um there is a lot of people that may benefit from having bay path even if they have to pay a high percentage of the cost mm -hmm. and you know we relieve the caregiver of one of the areas that that may find that they may need help with mm -hmm. so support support mm -hmm. like it could be uh, a relief a relief yeah <laughs> right. a little we also really have um mm -hmm. supportive home health aides that can if say for helping with the shower they may be able to help with uh, you know a person has some memory issues and it's mm -hmm. confusing or it's hard for them to get in the shower or they're resistant they can work with them to slowly ease them into mm -hmm. really feeling comfortable with them to mm -hmm. get the job done so uh, one new program I'm really excited about Good. and it's called intensive care management mm -hmm. and it's um, it's a sort of a pilot oh, study it? across oh. the state but the intensive care manager we have um, one care manager providing that role mm -hmm. she will meet with people over maybe six months mm -hmm. as um, they decide if they want to get the help in so oh. sometimes it's not a slam dunk when we right. we take the referral and go out that and see them great. so she will she does wonderful things too like oh, one time awesome. she talked to them about do you want the meals on wheels well I'm not sure mm -hmm. well how about if I bring a meal for me and you and I'm gonna come to your house and we'll we'll try it together oh, nice. and she did that yeah, that's a good program it, it was, I like the sound of that yes. using people it's, in that's great absolutely it's uh, wow. and they get to know her over time mm -hmm. and building trust again right that's building the trust again relationships and relationship building yes right. Right. yes oh that's wonderful oh, that sounds wonderful. like an exciting program and um okay i'm so happy about um the money management program and i know that's so important and and the respite relief and um now transportation to medical appointments now I know in Hopkinton we still have that, right? Yes, yes. yes and we have a certain group that mm -hmm, will help. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, some and volunteers, now, big yeah. volunteer pool that mm -hmm. will help people right. with medical rides and medical transportation. And can they go to Framingham as well? Yeah, the they go to Framingham and no. Natick and. Good. Now Norfolk. what about Boston? It's pretty limited to be able to get transportation mm -hmm. in Boston. Yeah. Now would Bay Path help with something like that? We can help with some transportation to medical appointments or dental appointments. It, it has to fit in the cost of the service plan. Mm -hmm. And we also, we look at the resources for each town and what's available for transportation mm -hmm. to sort of coordinate, uh, because transportation can be very expensive, say going into mm -hmm. Boston. Mm -hmm. But we would always look into what we can do according to the cost of the ride. Some people have a, some homemaking and then a ride once a month for mm -hmm. the doctors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's also great community resources such as the Metro West Regional Transit Authority. Oh yes. It has mm -hmm. a, um, a shuttle that goes to the Boston hospitals. Right. Some people may not want to drive. I know I don't want to drive yeah, to the Boston. I don't, exactly. I don't either. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if they could can drive to Framingham to where their parking lot is, there's a shuttle that goes Tuesdays and Thursdays to the Boston area hospitals. Mm -hmm. that's so great. that can work for some people. And it's only out of Framingham, Karen? Well, yes, it goes out of, get to out of Framingham. Right, right. And sometimes there's other, like maybe the shuttle from the mm -hmm. senior center in Hoppington can get the person to that, mm -hmm. that stop in Framingham. That's right. So mm -hmm. we could do that, and that could coordinate nicely True. with the, with right. the MTRA. It's just that's that great. Um, it's two, the two days and they have to mm -hmm. go by the schedule they mm -hmm. at certain hospitals at certain times so you the person would have to make their appointments according to mm -hmm. the schedule mm -hmm. so they're able to get in and get home they may have to wait for the ride to get back to and get things back. of that nature True. But yeah so right. the coordination right. needs to be does Bay Path use volunteers like if I were interested in giving somebody a ride or something like that uh, do, you, do you use volunteers? I know, of course, the senior center does in Hopkinton, but right, not for transportation. We we don't use volunteers for mm -hmm. transportation we would use our some of our vendors taxi companies mm -hmm. or wheelchair vans that okay. that provide the transportation yeah. we um, mm -hmm. none of our workers can take the consumers in the car it you know sometimes when people private pay for mm -hmm. homemakers and different mm -hmm. services they can take right. them in the car but not under our services mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. but we do yes and we also there are escorts that can go with the person oh that's good so sometimes Bay Path has that 
resource mm-hmm. to give them, or they can have mm-hmm. a family member go Wonderful. on the transportation. Because that's supportive. Them. Yes. You know, you know that, yeah. that's so supportive. Yeah. Now, Joyce, mm-hmm. um, when a person calls you, mm. um, and of course you refer them probably a lot to a Bay Path, of course. Sure. And now, do you? Are you? How are you involved? I mean. If I needed help and I called you, what would you do? Come out and visit me first? Yeah. or Definitely talk with you over the phone about the needs that you have. We're also very happy to make home visits, multiple home visits. Um, so very much like Karen and Information Referral, her department, we, Marley and I, listen to the needs that the person has when they call, and mm-hmm. we try to find the resources to, to help them. And like I said, whether it be just a phone call, a home visit, or even an ongoing home visit for for support, mm-hmm. and, and, a, and ongoing home visits to continue to problem solve as well. So we're we're very happy to do that. Very good. So it's, it's very a good. bit of the same model, and I, I find that for us because we can only serve the residents of Hopkinton, it's a good starting point. And I urge the residents when um, I meet them in the in our uh, center um, to please call us as the first phone call possibly you have questions and then I always say you know we collaborate so closely with with Bay Path and we Marlene have a very good um, understanding of uh, the beginning um, nature of the programs and the mm-hmm. qualifiers and the qualifications. So you're building a relationship. Absolutely. That's Back wonderful. Back to that building a relationship wonderful. and the trust piece and, and we hand it off sometimes to Karen's yes. department. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes I know that you may have a yeah. caregiver call us and mm-hmm. say yeah. like, you know, okay. that, that may yeah. want just to hear the information over the phone and then we can take the referral from the caregiver or mm-hmm. the person themselves. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I want to thank you both for coming. Oh, thank so you so much. Well, thank thanks you for Karen. having me. Yeah, you brought good news. Good news. Good news. And thank you, Joyce. Thanks, Mary. We are so fortunate to have a caring thanks, community and, you know, groups of people like Bay Path Health Care Services. Mm-hmm. They're the best, believe me. We are so blessed and so fortunate to have them. Okay, well, we want to thank you uh, for watching. And, you know, if you do have questions, you can call Joyce at the Hopkinton Senior Center. Four nine seven nine seven three zero, and um, and if you have any questions about uh, Bay Path Elder Care Services, or just tell Joyce and Marlene all about what you need, and they'll be happy to come out and do a visit with you, and 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 support you. You're not alone, okay? So thank you for watching, and you have a good night.